kaya mo talagang magtiis ng lahat ng sakit. Pero yun din, kaya mo rin siyang tiisin basta para sa kapakanan ng, ng anak mo. Alam mo talaga, yung one of the lessons that the Lord has in, parang imprinted on me on the second pregnancy. So you can have men plans for your life for yourself. Siya lang talaga yung masusunod. Motherhood is like the next logical step. Parang, if you're single, you married, you have kids. Parang, yun lang. Parang nothing more about it. And, um, it really changes as soon as you become a mom na kinaga mo na siya, tapos nilabas mo na siya. Even, actually, even yung pregnancy and uh, sa first time, ah, even yung first pregnancy and your first baby, parang malaki din yung difference ng ano yun eh, thought patterns, emotional patterns. Kasi pag buntis ka for the first time, parang hindi pa rin, parang namalaki lang yun, saan mo mga nararamdaman ka. Pero parang hindi mo pa rin ma-realize na na magkakabibi ka talaga. Hanggang sa nandiyan na siya, lumalabas na, labas na siya, yak, shot, yak, ganyan, yun na ang gagawin mo. Um, as a motherhood, it's really, it's really a gift, you know, but but it's a gift that, ano ba siya? It's a many-layered gift. Um, you get all of these feelings of happiness and, 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 and joy and love and yung puso mo um, mas parang lumalaki mas, mas nakakaramdam ka mas kumukulay ang buhay mas exciting mas adventurous but at the same time um, may mga regalo din siya na um, finding your bearing in terms of the different changes that Your, not just your life, but even your body went through. So, malaking part dun sa transition from pregnancy to actual uh, delivery na, and, and, and the first year of taking care of a child na para kang urong sulong eh. Try mo to, hindi nang work. Try mo isa. Um, hindi maganda yung pakiramdam mo dito. Subukan mo isa Until you find your own balance, your own style of, of parenting, it's it can be a long process and um, of course, maraming mga maraming kang magbabasa, maraming mag-advise sa'yo, but you build step by step. Pero yung mga little steps na yon ah yes, nagdumaan na to, she likes this, ganyan. Hindi siya umiyak. Um, yung mga little steps na yun, doon ka na kumukuha ng, ng confidence mo na, na, na you can do this. You can, you can work your way through it. You can you know think your way and feel your way through it. But always underneath that whole learning process and whole process of second guessing yourself, there will always be that very firm foundation of your love for your child. And that's one thing that I know I share with all mothers everywhere. Now we will do what we can to like spur our children. I'm so sad because I didn't make it. So I'm here to isa dalawa ng mga kaibigan na technically para kaming stay at home kasi yung work namin it's it's so um, irregular it's yeah it's very very irregular and lalo na ng pandemic sobrang halos wala <laughs> di ba so um sabi namin nung nag quarantine ano wala naman nagbago kasi I started working Three months after Lady Bob's was born, and by that time we 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 hired the nanny already. We had it na Tapos umaalis naman ako ng gabi, so tulog na siya. So parang hindi naman. I don't think na nararamdaman yana na 
na wala na wa umaalis ako or wala ako unless out of town or out of the country. So in 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 that sense, nung nag-quarantine, parang parang feeling ko same same lang para sa sa anak ko na na lagi pa rin ako nakikita. And um din naman sa question about uh, motherhood, it's uh Sobrang enjoy ako bilang nanay at nakakatuwa na ako yung front row seat sa pagpapaglaki pag pan pagnood sa paglaki ng ng anak ko kasi nakikita mo talaga how their characters um build how they how they mature they blossom alam mo yung so chamber ng baby ang ang primary duties mo breastfeeding taking care uh, changing nap diapers ganyan but as soon as maghit na siya ng toddlerhood nakikita mo na talaga na nag-emerge yung characteristics niya and nakakatuwa talaga siyang panoorin and um, we are always grateful i am always grateful to be to be to have been chosen to be a mom and mas Masaya, masaya siyang adventure. Ngayon, uh, toddler na si Lily Bob, sobrang active, sobrang kulit. Loko-loko siyang bata eh. Love, <laughs> hindi siya yung bata na uh, hinhin. Hindi, as in go-go-go adventurous, mismo parang lalaki gumilos. <laughs> Pero nakakatuwa kasi marunong siya mang asar. Alam mo yung mga ganong ganong bagay. And, and, Madalda siya, nag i ng sarili niyang mga kanta. Nice. Nagmamash up siya. Alam mo yun, at two and a half, nakakatuwa talaga na, na hindi namin nami-miss yun, especially yung, at this time of formative years. Um, so, in that sense, uh, the quarantine has been a blessing to our family, especially for my husband. Kasi yung husband ko yung talagang regular na umalis ng bahay. So, since na quarantine, syempre forced na nandito lang siya. So, yung yung anak ko, um, nasanay na siya na lagi lang kaming nasa bahay. Naglalaro, naglalaro sila ng asawa ko pag hindi na nag-work yung, yung husband ko. So, ayun. Kaya mo talagang magtiis ng lahat ng sakit. Yung first pregnancy ko pa lang, ano yun eh, madami ng, everyday yung injections ko nun. Um, dito sa second pregnancy, twice a day na injection. <laughs> Pero kaya mo pa lang tisin yung, yung sakit. Even yung ano eh, even yung breastfeeding na part, um, mahirap din siya eh. Pero yun din, kaya mo rin siyang tiisin, basta para sa kapakanan ng, ng anak mo. Ngayon, and I think marami, maraming moms na ganun eh. Na kaya magtiis, kaya na di, hindi mo na matulog, basta okay lang <laughs> anak nila. And then, I guess sa mga pinagdaan ko, talagang parang pinalakas lang ako ni, pinalakas ako ni Lord. And yung mga anak ko yung naging inspiration tsaka dahilan nung um, binas, mas pinagtiwala niya ako sa plano niya para sa akin, sa kakayahan niya na tanggalin ako sa mga um, life-threatening situation na kaya niyang that he can work you know, miracles. And may our two babies, yun talaga yung testament namin dyan eh. Kasi kahit sabihin mong may epikos ka, apas ka, ka-ovarian cyst ka, nakakala cancer, the Lord can deliver you from it. So from any situation in this life. So yun yung, yun yung mas pinatatag sa akin at ibay sa akin ng Lord. mahirap mag-alaga ng dalawang bata na ikaw lang talaga most of the time sa bahay na nakakulong lang lagi kayo sa bahay. 